buddy, Paulio Jr. here, and in today's video, I just wanted to show everybody how easy it is to download an ISO file for Windows 11, Windows 10, and also Windows 8.1. These are the ones that are still currently supported by Microsoft, so you can download the ISO at any time in case you did lose uh, your disk or your uh, bootable thumb drive. So I will put the links in the description for each one. So the first one we're obviously looking at is Windows 11. And if you wanted the ISO, you just go down at the bottom here, you know, and typically you would obviously do this on your computer. And then you would just, you know, select your download and, you know, check off which one you want and then click download and you'll have your uh, you'll have your Windows 11 ISO very simple and this is from Microsoft.com um, so it's a hundred percent legitimate you know no question so okay so the next link I'm gonna bring it to is Windows 10 here uh, let's see here so this is the one I was actually looking for because I actually did, so it says download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And that was where I happened to get my uh, Windows 10 uh, ISO file and able to, uh, you know, and in, enable to um, install it, you know, on, a, on the, my laptop again. So, yep, right there, select edition. And it'll say multi edition. And then, you know, as you go further down the line, it'll say, you know, you can do pro, home, whatever the case may be. And then finally, we have uh, Windows 8.1. So, again, download Windows 8.1 disk image ISO file. You know, you select the edition and you hit confirm. And it's really as simple as that. So, um, yeah, just try and, you know, make sure you have, uh, you know, your serial, your serial number, your product key, and you will have zero issues, uh, installing this. So, um, yeah, I just, I downloaded it. I use power ISO, which I highly recommend. Um, and then just insert a, for me, I just create a bootable thumb drive. I use one that has minimum uh, you know, you know, at, at the bare minimum, you know, 50 gigs, a hundred gigs, something like that, but you don't even need that much space and then plug it in, boot it up on the computer or laptop, doesn't matter. And, uh, you got, you have yourself a fresh version of windows and you won't have all of the junk that comes with it. Like when you buy, um, you know, say a new computer when you buy Dell or an HP, whatever it is, they come with all this preloaded stuff. So these are just like the actual, um, you know, Windows operating systems without all the extra garbage. So it'll make it a lot easier to, you know, get rid of things you don't want. It'll be a lot quicker. So yeah, that's really it. So there's the ISO files from Microsoft.com. And, uh, yeah, it's really that simple. Uh, it's 100% uh, legitimate, obviously 100% legal to download these ISO files um, since Microsoft is allowing you to do this. And, yeah, so, but, uh, so, and just one more thing. If you have a slower computer, use 8.1. If you have a decent computer, use Windows 10. If you have a really fast computer, then use Windows 11. So that's just my suggestion. So, all right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And also, you can decide whether you want to do, uh, you know, 30, 32 or 64 bit. But everything is pretty much 64 bit. So go for that. Obviously, go for 64 bit because you could put an unlimited amount of uh, memory into it. So. But, yep, yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Later. Bum, bum, bum.